today in our calculation in physics we are going to be dealing basically on machine so we are going to be calculating some questions or we are going to be bombarding some questions in machine now first of all this is our first equation in machine we have it as the efficiency of a pulley of a pulley system shown above is so this is the pulley system shown above is 80 percent find the effort e required to lift a load of 1200 newton now solution let's calculate this solution now in calculating this particular list let's bring down our values now so we have the efficiency efficiency is equals to 80 percent so we have the, the load which is equal to so if that be the case they say we should calculate the efforts which is not given remember that efficiency is mechanical advantage So efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times 100 percent So if that be the case, we are not giving we are giving the efficiency, we are not we are giving the velocity ratio. Now the velocity ratio V R is equal to the numbers of these circles make up the velocity ratio. The numbers of the circle is the number of the velocity ratio. So we have it as one, two, three, four. So that means our velocity ratio. Is equals to 4 so if that be the case so we have the efficiency as 80 equals to mechanical advantage which is not given over the velocity ratio which is 4 times 100 so if that be so we if we cross multiply let's multiply 80 is equals to this multiplied by this will give us 100 and a mechanical advantage all over 4 so when we cross multiply when we cross multiply we now have it that this multiplied by this it's going to give us about um, 320 so we have it 0, 0 and a is equal to 320 so we are going to divide both sides by 100 so that we can be able to get the value of MA so dividing both sides by 100, we now have it as so 100 will cancel 100 so we have it as MA is equal to this cancel this so we have the mechanical advantage as 3.2 Letting the efforts, we know that mechanical advantage mechanical advantage is equal to load all over effort the mechanical advantage is equal to load all over effort the mechanical advantage is equal to 3.2 which is equal to the load the load is 1200 sorry so the load is 1200 all over the effort which is not given effort which is not given so if that be the case, so we have it, so when we cross multiply, this is invisibly over 1, so when we cross multiply, we have it as 3.2 effort is equal to 120. Dividing both sides by 3.2, dividing both sides by 3.2, we now have it as, this will cancel this, the 3.2 will cancel 3.2, the 3.2 will cancel each other, so which we have it as effort is equal to, effort is equal to, 1200 over 3.2. So 1200 divided by 3.2 is going to give us effort is equal to 375 Newton. So this is the value of the effort. In our next example, we are going to be dealing on this um, question. It says that a machine is used to lift a load of 20 Newton through a height of, of 10 meter. If the efficiency of the machine is 40%, how much, 
how much work is done. So we are looking at this particular question. It has to do with work output and work input. And the question, we are looking at the work input. So looking at the work input. So let's, uh, we know that efficiency is equal to Efficiency is equal to the work output all over the work input times 100%. So if that be the case, now recall, recall that work is equal to force times distance. So work is force times distance. So basically we are looking for the work input. So if that be the case, we now have the efficiency from the question, this is the efficiency, and this is the, the force, and this is the height, which represent the distance in this particular case. So we have the efficiency, the efficiency which is 40, 40% 40 over, is equal to the work output, which is force times distance. Let's present it like this, force times distance, over the work, okay, sorry, sorry. Let's present it like this. Efficiency is equal to the work input times 100%. Okay, 100%. 40% equals to the force, which is 20 Newton, times the distance, which represents the height, which is 10, over the work. Inputs times 100%. C is equal to 200, which is 20 times 10, 200 over the work inputs times 100. So this multiplied by this is going to give us um, 20,000. 40 is equal to 20,000. Okay, 20,000. So when we multiply this by this, it's going to give us 20,000 over the work input. So when we cross multiply, when we, because this is invisibly over 1, then when we cross multiply, we have it as the 40 work input. Is equal to this multiplied by this is still going to give us the same. Okay, that means we have it divided by 40. So this 40 will cancel this 40, which you have it as the work impute is equal to 200, 2000, sorry, 20,000 divided by 40, which we have it as. This divided by this, so the zero will cancel this zero. So this divided by this, we are going to have it about 500, so that means joules, because work is measured in joules. So that is our final answer. In our last example, so we have a question. It says that a screw jar, 25% efficiency, and having a screw of pitch, 0.4 cm is used to, used to raise a load through a certain height. If in the process the handle turns through a circle of radius 40 cm, calculate the A, the velocity ratio of the machine, B, the mechanical advantage of the machine, C, the effort required to raise a load, a load of 1000 Newton with the machine. We have the velocity ratio. So the formula for calculating the velocity ratio under a screw jar is so two pi two pi r over the pitch. So we have it as b is equals to two times. We know that pi is equals to 
3.14, which the social ticket has is times the radius. The radius is equal to this is the sorry, this is the pitch, then the radius is 40. So the radius is 40 over the pitch, which is 0 0.4, 0 0.4. So we have it at V R. V R is equal to this times this times this is gonna give us 251.2 divided by 0 0.4 which will become this divided by this is going to give us 628 so that is the velocity ratio so we are going to go with equation a but there's the question the number b say we should calculate the mechanical advantage but we know that efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage all over the velocity ratio times 100 percent so if that be the case so the efficiency is given us so we have the efficiency the efficiency is giving us 25 percent so we have that 25 percent is equal to mechanical advantage which we are asked to calculate m v a over the velocity ratio which is this this is the velocity ratio is 6 to 8 so if that be the case times 100%. So if that be the case, multiplying this by this, multiplying it, we have 285 is equal to this times this, is going to give us about 100 and A divided by 6, sorry, 6 to 8. So when we multiply, when we multiply, this is only simply over 1, then we we'll cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we have it as when we cross multiply, we have it as hundred and a five seven seven seven. So we are dividing. So we should divide both sides by hundred. Dividing both sides by hundred. So dividing both sides by hundred, we have it as this cancel this. We have m a is equal to zero cancel zero zero cancel zero. So this divided by this is going to give us. 157. So we have gotten our mechanical advantage. So we say that they say we should calculate the effort. We should calculate the effort when the load is equal to 1000. 1000 Newton. So we should calculate the effort. But we know that mechanical advantage is equal to load over effort. So if the mechanical advantage is it wants to load all of our effort and we are giving the load so and we all know that mechanic, mechanical advantage is 157 equals to the load is 1000 over the effort. So if that be the case, this multiplied by this, so we are going to cross multiply, which we have it as when we cross multiply, we have it as 157 effort is equal to 1000 so we divide both sides by 157 157 sorry 157 so dividing both sides by 157 we have it, this we cancel this effort will be equal this, this divided by this is going to give us 6.4 6.4 newton so that is it we are cutting our effort our velocity ratio, the mechanical advantage. Thank you for watching this video. Please ensure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also like the video. Please, if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment box and we are going to attend to the question.